അഡ്വക്കേറ്റ് തുൾസി ജി തുൾസി ജി യു ഹാവ് ടു ഫോർ ഗീ മീ ഓൺലി ടു മിനിറ്റ്സ് ഐ എം ഐ എം ഹെൽപ്ലെസ് ഓണറബിൾ ചെയർമാൻ സർ ഐ വോണ്ട് ടു മെൻഷൻ ദാറ്റ് അണ്ടർ ദ കോൺസ്റ്റിറ്റ്യൂഷൻ ഫ്രോം ദ കൗൺസിൽ ഓഫ് സ്റ്റേറ്റ്സ് ദി പെരമൗണ്ട് എക്സ്പെക്ടേഷൻ ഈസ് that it will protect and defend the rights of the states there are four judgments which have been delivered the first one in 2012 on presidential reference a constitution bench of five judges and thereafter monetis path odisha mining and ml sharma there are four principles which are common in all these four judgments and those are firstly the ownership of the mines and whatever lies beneath the earth belongs to the states and section 2 and 4 of 1957 act was upheld by giving four reasons one that it merely regulated and did not divest the states of their rights of ownership it did not prevent the states from exploiting the minerals in the manner in which they wanted it was a collaborative exercise which was created under 1957 act where the center and the states together in a consultative process decided to exploit the mines and issue the licenses in the present bill I, there are several clauses which which practically reduce the rights of the states to non entities they only have to do, do the cler- clerical job of issuing the licenses as per the directions of the central government the central government has virtually robbed them of the mineral wealth which under the constitution was vested in them i i want to caution the government that this bill runs a serious risk of falling foul of the judgments of the supreme court and it may be declared unconstitutional thank you sir thank you very much